working while studying is one of the most common ways that students fund their study here in Germany. And this video is going to be all about part-time jobs for students studying in Germany. <music> There are basically two types of part-time jobs for students here in Germany. The first is what is called a Werk student, so it literally translates as a working student. In this case, you are working professionally in a company, either in the field that you are studying in or a field that you already have past experience in. The general idea is that you are working professionally in a company. This is very, very, very good because beyond learning the theoretical aspect of your work in school, this gives you an opportunity to have practical hands-on experience at work or to also develop the already existing experience that you have. The second type is what is called a mini job. So mini jobs are what most students would take generally because it's the easiest to come by, it's quicker, it's quick cash, you know, and all of that. Now, mini jobs are mostly, you know, cleaning, working as a waiter or a waitress in a restaurant, delivery jobs, working at a warehouse, like say Amazon or Hermes. In fact, Amazon, working in Amazon in their warehouse units is one of the most common jobs that students do here in Germany. This is because it is really, it is, they, they pay a lot for students, yeah, as compared to other mini jobs. In fact, at some point, it almost feels like Amazon jobs or Amazon Hermes, they don't even classify as mini jobs anymore because the pay is really, really decent. And for students, they have lots and lots of opportunities to work in Amazon. Now, a lot of students work towards the end of the year in Amazon during the peak period when Amazon has, they have too much, they have too much going on and they will need more hands. A lot of students would prefer to work with Amazon so that they can work towards the end of the year for a couple of months full time as against working part time throughout the year. This is really, really super, super helpful for students, you know, because they pay really well and the um, Christmas bonus that they give to these workers are really decent. Now, where can you find these jobs? The most popular place to find these jobs would be LinkedIn. We already know, everyone knows that LinkedIn is the, is the biggest professional platform. Indeed, is another great place to check for jobs. Monster.de, Zing. You can even check for jobs on eBay. Like I was surprised when I realized that, oh, there's some job listings on eBay. It was really interesting for me to find out. But yes, you can find jobs on eBay as well. Or you can simply just do a Google search. So if, for example, you already know the companies that you want to or that you're targeting, you can just do a Google search for these companies, find out what they are looking for, find out if they have job openings and just simply apply. You don't have to wait to see notifications for job openings on these job sites before you apply to these companies. Some of these companies are open to take unsolicited applications. So unsolicited applications are simply applications where they don't have an opening per se, but you just apply anyway. So there's no harm to it because the worst thing that can happen is they say, oh, sorry, we, we're, not, we're not taking people now and all of that. But regardless, apply anyway. Now, so these are the two basic categories of part-time jobs that students do here in Germany. However, beyond these two broad categories of part-time jobs for students, students can also find other ways to raise income for themselves by providing services to other people. So for example, you can find students who run certain um, side businesses like say running a small agency where they do Instagram, you know, social media marketing for small businesses. Lots of students do this if you are really good with all of these kinds of things. So social media adverts, social media handling, a social media accounting and all of that. Lots of students do this for small businesses. You're able to go to these businesses, pitch your idea to them, get them to get you to, you know, run their social media face for them. Other things that students do is to sell stuff. So you have some students who go on eBay, for example, get some things cheap on eBay and resell it on eBay as well. Or they buy some things on eBay and sell it on Amazon. Or they buy some things on AliExpress and they sell it on Amazon. You know, different things like that. These are very possible. You also have people who do things like sell, you know, hair products 
for example where i got my hair from this hair is so nice <laughs> guys i've been postponing making my hair i don't know why but someone convinced me <laughs> convinced me to get it done with kinky i usually don't like making this kind of braids you know kinky hair and all of that but she convinced me to try it and i really really do love it if you like this hair if you think you want to get it, if you are living in germany in fact anywhere around europe you can order from her they are super nice they're very nice quality i'll put her um handle her instagram handle in the description this is not a pay this is not a sponsored ad so guys let's it's to tell you that the product is actually really good i'm not just saying it's good because it's good so let's try and support this small business yeah okay so back to our part-time jobs <laughs> so you can provide a lot of these services for people and get paid if you know how to make hair for people making your hair in this country is not cheap especially for international students who have our kind of hair so the i don't know what what's our hair type called type c something something like that we as africans especially we have the biggest challenge of being able to make our hair at reasonable prices so if you're able to provide this service for people it's going to go a long way to create some finances for yourself lots of people are looking for people who can make their hair for cheap now other things you can also do is say dog walking if you're um, cats walking you know babysitting pet sitting so many people live there travel a lot of time and they will need to have their houses kept their cats really their cat or their dog their pets really babysat so you need to do like some babysitting for the pets i don't know should i call it babysitting or pet sitting or i don't know what it is called but really you just have to look after these pets and people get paid for them or walk the dogs you know or walk the cat or something do you walk cats i don't think you walk cats but you walk dogs <laughs> but yeah people are looking for people who can do this for them so if you can provide these services and you're able to get enough clients to sustain you that would be great however it's also a very nice way to have some extra change in your pocket now if you haven't given this video a thumbs up please guys give this video a thumbs up it's a nice gesture to me i appreciate it and it helps youtube tell people that this video is relevant and you like it and it can show people show more people this video thank you okay let's talk about money how much can you earn with a part-time job the minimum wage in germany is 12 euros per hour it used to be 9 euros 35 cents but with the recent inflation and the ridiculous price hikes of course that comes with inflation the government has tried to you know balance the whole situation and increase the minimum wage to 12 euros per hour now this means that as a student you're only allowed to work for 20 hours per week which means potentially you can earn give or take 960 euros per month if you're working 20 hours a week you can earn more than that of course if your employer is paying you above the minimum wage per hour but i'm saying you can earn 960 euros at a minimum if you work complete 20 hours per week as a student so it is safe to say that as a student if you are prudent with your funds you should be able to survive comfortably on your part-time job you are not going around throwing parties you know <laughs> and spending anyhow or you know balling you can't be balling when you are living on a part-time job which means that you have to be prudent you know and manage your funds and all of that my advice is once you arrive germany you need to hit the ground running quickly immediately start to look out for these jobs look out for part-time jobs look out for mini jobs you know apply everywhere to increase your chances of getting these jobs and get these jobs as soon as possible as quickly as you can i generally would advise people or advise students to look out for take working student jobs so what you call vex students so that's what i mean is the the professional jobs if you can it's it's not easy to come by but begin to apply for these jobs immediately begin to apply for internships as quickly as possible so that you can begin to gather work experience here in germany such that when you are graduating or when you have graduated your chances of getting of gaining employment here in germany is a bit better 
if you already have some working experience here in Germany. So please, once you come into Germany, begin to look out for these opportunities. Now, if you don't see these opportunities, say opportunity to, to work in a company as a, as a working student, so you can get professional experience, or you don't see opportunities to, to work as an, in, as an intern, it doesn't mean you should give up, you know? Work with what you have, with your mini job, just keep working on it for the intern, interim and get some money to survive but keep applying to these other jobs that gives you practical work experience in your field of study. Super, super important. Now, in my next video, I'll be talking all about internships and how to go about them. Look out for that video, please. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next video. Do have a fantastic week, guys. I wish you all the best in your search here in Germany. Bye.